Right, so we're uh, towards the end of March and we're going to pot up our newly arrived dahlia tubers. Um, we have set dailies about three weeks ago from seed and these were pricked out last week into these sort of three inches, three inch pots. Um, so you just see the difference. They're much smaller, they've got no tubers underneath them, all that tuber will develop through this season's growing. Um, but you see how, how you can start them from seed a little bit earlier. So your tubers, the things to look out for is just to make sure that they're firm. So when you squeeze them that they don't, they don't give under your finger and your thumb. Um, that there's no mould on them or anything like that, any sign of disease. And this one's actually sprutting, you can just see it's just starting to to put up a shoot so that's a good sign that it's a healthy solid tuber so what we're going to do we're going to use a free draining peat free compost uh, it's good quality um, nice and fine so i'm going to use a an eight inch three litre pot i'm just going to pop some compost in there and what we want to do we want to set this tuber so that that shoot is just level with the surface of the soil can be just underneath but it's better if it's just showing i think there's one in here that's got a couple you can see that one's got a shoot coming off last year's shoot so just there that's last year's stem you can see there's a, a shoot coming up there and also one at the base and there's another tiny tiny one there so that's going to have at least three shoots on it so all we're going to do as you can see i've, I've filled the pot almost to the sort of three quarters level. I'm just gonna put a little divot in the middle. I'm gonna bury those, the thin roots, I'm just gonna push down into the soil. And what I'm aiming for is to spread out the tuber itself and leave that so that it's sort of flush almost with the top of the pot. And then I'm just gonna fill in around it. Don't worry if you cover it over to start with. So what you're gonna do is just tap it because we want the soil, the compost to be in good contact with the tube and want it to settle around the tube. So by tapping that down, you can see now, that if I just level that off, we've just got that level with the surface. You can just see that shoot coming out. Yeah. And that's last year's stem. So that's perfect. Um, I'm also gonna give it some root well, which is beneficial, beneficial bacteria and mycorrhizal fungi. So for a, a two, three litre pot, you just need half a scoop. I'm just going to sprinkle that carefully across the surface like that. And then, of course, we need to label it up because we're going to have other varieties of dahlia. Um, and then we're going to water that. So I'll just move this out of the way and we'll give that a, a drink. Don't want to overwater it. We just want to keep it, keep it moist and we want to keep it at sort of 15 to 20 degrees centigrade, which is 60 to 70 Fahrenheit. And if there's going to be a frost, we've not got a heated greenhouse. So if there is going to be a frost, you might need to cover them over at night. So keep an eye on the weather forecast because you don't want frost to get in there because it'll kill them. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a drink. I'm not going to give it too much. So I say I want to keep it moist, but not wet. It's a good question, yeah. You potentially you could plant them straight into your flower bed. Yeah. But if you're gonna get a frost, yeah. you've then got to go out and cover them up. And obviously you're not guaranteed the 15 to 20 degrees yeah. centigrade. I mean, it's quite, it's about seven degrees outside. Yeah. So to give you the best chance of starting it, you need it in a, a warm environment. Um, so you could put them on a windowsill if you haven't got a greenhouse. You can plant them out direct, yeah. around about mid to end of May, depending on where you are in the country. You just need to avoid frosts. Yeah and there's no guarantee what the weather's going to be like. So, And obviously, we put it in a, a decent sized pot so that when we come to plant it out, just tap it out of the pot, yeah. dig, your, dig your hole, tap it out of the pot straight in, yeah. and then water it in as well. So we'll, we'll be looking at that later in the year anyway. 